Hello and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 10 Access Controls video brought to you by MS Consulting. This is part one of this tutorial which focuses on creating the base application and creating the access controls. On the screen is a list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial as well as the location of a full article with more in-depth information. It is also assumed that you have downloaded and extracted the ACL employee data which is available from the link on the screen. So to start, we're going to go and we're going to log into Apex. And then we're going to go to Application Builder. And we're going to click Create. And this time we're actually going to create an application from a spreadsheet and we'll click next and we're going to upload a file or comma separated values to generate this application and then we're going to click the browse button and we're going to navigate to the CSV file that was extracted from the file we downloaded from Oracle we're going to check to make sure that its separator is correct and that anything else is correct and it all is so we're going to click next it'll upload the file now we have to give it a table name and we're going to call it ACL employees this is also where you can adjust the column names data type format column length and whether or not you want to upload it or not we'll click next and we're going to change the application settings here the singular name is going to be employee the plural name is going to be employees. You can also change the column labels here. We're going to click next. For summary by column, we're going to select department ID and click next. For aggregate by column, we're not going to select anything. We're just going to click next. and under here we're just going to change the report implementation to be classic and click next then we're going to select user theme 2 click next verify our choices and click create and when that's done we'll click run the application so we can see what it looks like we're going to enter our username and password to log into it and you can see currently there's no restrictions at all you can edit every line there's a reset and create and that's not what we want we need to limit access to this so we're going to scroll down to our developer bar and we're going to actually click the create link this will create a new page and we're going to say new page is what we want to create we'll click next and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to click access control click next I'm going to give it a page number which is page number eight click next we're going to assign it to a tab, so we're going to click Use Existing Tab Set. It'll update here. We're going to give it a tab label of Administration. And we'll click Next. It'll ask us to confirm our choices, and we'll click Finish. And this will generate the access controls, which also generates some custom tables and pages. We'll click Run Page, and the first thing it's going to ask us is to set the application mode. This is how do you want the authentication to function. We're going to click Restricted Access, and then we're going to click Set Application Mode. And now the lower box is where you can actually generate and control your access control list. And What we're going to do is we're going to add three users here. 
So we're going to click the Add User line, the Add User button. And then in the line that was created, we're going to enter our first username. And we're going to give him View Privileges. We'll click Apply Changes. We're going to scroll down and hit Add User again. We're going to add our second username. And this user will get Edit Privileges. We'll apply changes again. And now we'll scroll down one more time. Click Add User. And we'll add our third user, who's going to have administrator level privileges. And we'll click Apply Changes. And that's good. Now we're going to click our Application ID link. And then we're going to click our home bread, our home breadcrumb link, because what we have to do is we have to go create a function in our SQL workshop. And then we're going to go enter SQL commands, and this function will aid in the authentication process. So we'll paste this in. It is available in the full article. We'll click run, and the function was created. So now we can go ahead and click our home link again. And we can click Application Builder, click our ACL Employees application, then we're going to go to Shared Components, we're going to scroll down to Authentication Schema, and we're going to click the Application Express dash Current, because that's what we're currently using. And we're going to scroll down here to where it says Authentication Function. And we're going to change it from Built In to this value. And we'll click Apply Changes. And there, we've just added Access Control to the base application. In the next part of this, we'll actually start restricting the application access and then we'll test the overall application.